please explain the meaning behind the UCI Urology Nautilus? Yeah. So in 2002, when I became chairman of the, of the newly formed Department of Urology, um, I was sort of desperate to find a way that we could brand the department and have it distinguished from other departments of urology across the country. Um, at that time, the head of orthopedics had a, uh, actually a palm tree with a, a bandage on it as their sort of symbol of the Department of Orthopedics. Um, and so, pun intended, we were fishing around for a way to brand it. Um, and I didn't have any great idea. And we had a wonderful, wonderful administrative assistant who was an administrative assistant to uh, Dr. McDougall, Cynthia Shell, C. Shell. She came up with the idea of the Nautilus. And she may have brought me an image, which was perfect, which was of a Nautilus cut in half, with somebody holding it with their hands by the ocean as the sun was setting. So here you had the ocean, beautiful sunset, a pair of hands, surgery, and the Nautilus. I went, very cool. And then the, there is an Oliver Wendell Holmes poem entitled The Nautilus, The Chamber Nautilus, which I've always liked. Um, the last stanza of it is particularly poignant because it speaks to a desire to each year progress, to build more, to grow. And so we actually gave out for our visiting professors. Um, we actually, and we still do, thanks to Dr. Landman's desire and kindness in keeping the Nautilus at the symbol. Uh, we give out a chambered Nautilus to all of our visiting professors. I took this at one point to maybe a point of ridiculousness, but if they were young, we gave them a chambered Nautilus. But if they were, quote unquote, more senior, we'd give them an ammonite, which is a prehistoric chambered. At any rate, but we built a stand for this. It sits on the stand, and on the stand is the last eight or nine lines from the last stanza of the poem. So it's a nice thing, and then that's something you can display in your office. So you get all these plaques from all these universities. And what do you do with them? Some people put them all over their walls. I'm not interested. It's a plaque, it's not very, you know, it's a plaque and it's framed and Mine are all up in the attic at home. But there are some things you get from universities that you love. And what they give you is the Stanford Cardinal framed. Well, no one knows it's a Stanford Cardinal except for me. I love that. Every time I look at that, that's great. University of Washington, Paul Lang, when he was chairman, gave out a, uh, a clam, a gooey duck, which you can use as a paperweight. Great. So this, as a gift to the visiting professor, is something they can have on their desk. It looks very nice, and the poem is very nice, but they, whenever they look at it, would think of their time here at UC Irvine. So that's what we did, and that's the story behind the chamber. Nautilus, I'll give you the last stanza of that, because I love it, but I can't memorize it. Um, I've tried many times. But it goes, build thee more stately mansions, O my soul, as the swift seasons roll. Leave thy low vaulted past, let each new temple nobler than the last. Shut thee from heaven with a dome more vast, till thou at length art free, leaving thine outgrowing shell by life's unresting sea. That's what this is all about. That's what it's all about. You know, progress, progress, progress until egress.